And as an old Atari fan, I've been following this new Atari game console that is apparently in the works, and Eurogamer has some more information on it that I'll get to in a second, but if you haven't heard of this thing, uh, this is what it looks like. It's got wood grain, it is legit, uh, at least insofar as its industrial design goes, but this is about the extent of what we know about this console right now. They haven't released any specifications about what it's running, what it can run, but the assumption is, of course, that it'll play uh, Atari back catalog games and maybe some new stuff also, but we don't know uh, anything more than that. But we do know uh, how they plan to fund this thing, and it looks like they're going for a crowdfunding campaign as opposed to doing something like Nintendo does, which is take all the risk and build it themselves and then sell it like a normal product. It looks like here Atari is going to be seeing if they can get the fans of Atari products to uh, back this and get it going. I'm not all that crazy about this idea. In fact, some of you viewers agree with me. I posted this on my uh, Facebook uh, page the other day, and Corey here uh, mentions it's kind of strange that a major company, corporation, has to do this crowdfunding project to get it going. Uh, but one of the things, though, is that Atari isn't the company that I remembered it back in the 70s and 80s. In fact, they went kaput in the video game crash, and then the uh, brand itself has been sold and resold a half a dozen times. It's now in France, of all places. So it started in California, but now the uh, brand is owned by a French company. They've had a lot of financial difficulties over the years. They come and go, but somebody always seems to pick up the brand and keep going with it. It looks like the company that owns Atari is actually designing this thing, but they're also a holding company that licenses out the rights to use the games, as well as things like the Atari flashback consoles here that we see every year from a little company called AT Games. And this is not an Atari product. Uh, this one is coming from AT Games, but this is the kind of stuff that they get a good chunk of their revenue from, which is just licensing the brand out or licensing the games that they still have rights to. And uh, there's probably some good money in that, but I don't think they're the huge company that everyone thinks they are. They're a lot smaller than that, which is probably why they're resorting to crowdfunding. But my excitement for this product just uh, kind of went down a couple notches when I heard about that uh, crowdfunding component. And I don't know if we really need yet another plug and play game console. I, for one, would just like to be able to buy these ROMs legally somewhere as opposed to having to uh, look for nefarious sources to go out and play the games that I want to play. So we'll see what happens with this thing. But uh, as of right now, you'll be able to buy the Atari Flashback 8 around the fall. We're going to get one of these in to test, hopefully. There's a Sega Genesis one coming out soon. And we'll see if this Atari thing ever comes to fruition. And I'll give you more opinions on that when we know more about what it is. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.